There we go. He, he looks happy. Oh, look, he was moving a bit. Oh, shit. No, Froline, no. No. <laughs> what the freak? Ah, oh, sh shit. Well, looks like I got poisoned. How's it going, this game edge? We are back in You Know Where, Stranded Deep. And thank you so much for supporting it. Again, if you guys like this series, make sure you take that time and hit that like button to tell me what you like and don't like. And it's very much appreciated, of course. If you're brand new, make sure you subscribe. And we're just going to make our dryer crafter move over, over here. I moved my boat onto this side, just for now. And the actual raft, I'll put it on the other side here. Reason why for that, we're going to be building ourselves a landing pad. A lot of you actually brought up a good idea about this. I said, why not? Let's get a landing pad. I, I want a landing pad big time. Let's get it rolling. Let's get a hammer too. We're going to need one of those. And uh, there we go. Now we can pick up all the sticks we want. It's going to take four a pop. And the reason why I'm not going to be using planks themselves is because the planks, uh, they actually cost like four of these. And you only get one out of these trunks. It would be a fortune to actually build a nice little plank. Now, I am keeping them for furniture and other things because it takes six to make a table and I think four to actually make chairs. It's going to cost a, well, a sweet load of it. So we actually can make these ones here with four sticks a lot better. So we're making a foundation of four sticks right over here. So let's do that right away. Let's look at that. We can actually do driftway if we want to. It's a little more pale, almost sand colored. So I'm going to try to avoid that. You can actually see it right over there, that color over there. So yeah, be careful. Oh, there's a collision on this one here or something. All right, so it's going to go this way. We're going to be careful not to get the sand itself. So I'm going to start from this side. And if I need stairs or something, we'll, we'll work it out afterwards. Okay, right here. Let's start this one. There we go. One. Wood foundation. Which side did I put this on? Oh, and now I don't remember. Shit. I was so much concentrated on placing it down. I want to go to the right. Oh, good. It is perfect. It is exactly what I wanted. Nice. Good, good, good. Let's move Q and E. Let's move that. Let's type in Q. And we can actually, like I said, driftwood or you can actually wood foundations. And there we go. Nice. We got three on there. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to make another one. Can I make another one? Wow. I did carry quite a bit more than I thought. All right, cool. Nice. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some now. Nope. Wow. All right. Excellent. Keep on forgetting that it's just four a pop. So very, very nice. All right, let's build these babies up. Let's just shoot, hit these things as much as possible. We can't get to hit them to the end. Now, is there kind of structural or damage that can occur by the water? None whatsoever. So I don't know if you don't finish it. It's kind of odd, but you don't need to finish it. Uh, but I just, you know, I do try to go around and make sure I get them all. It is times where I do forget, but I do go back and double check them all. So it works out really good. These are two. I'm going to need a little bit more maybe another we're gonna do three by three i think i think we'll do three by three it'll work out a lot better like this i'm gonna jump right in here nice sweet it's gonna look very very cool it'll be fun place to actually have somewhere to land i love how it goes right to the rock that one and it almost gives like a bad angle because of the wood right here I like that uh wood yeah definitely gonna need some more and then we can jump up all these actual we will hear these logs themselves the trunks we can actually chop them up and uh, pieces and get us four sticks in each one so it's not a big big deal to run out it's better than uh you know one per and plank wise which drives me at the wall i think it's just a little bit too expensive uh we don't get enough resources back for those trunks just me maybe my 10 cents i don't know i think we can do better nice Sweet. Oops, gotta put one down, game engine. It works a lot better. I'm pretty sure it does. All right, let's move this here. Now, we definitely need something to land on, right? I mean, it looks a little, makes a little more sense than actual sand. Perfect. I think that's gonna look pretty darn snazzy once we get the helicopter in there. Now, we can actually fly her. She still has a little bit of fuel. The thing is, I'm trying to get as much fuel as possible. I just wanna see what she looks like on here. Oh my god. Okay. There she goes. Let's say a bad landing. There we go. Oh, see, she's not bad landing. Pretty darn decent one. Uh, we should actually maybe get some actual gates up and stuff. Let's do that. Let's open this up. It's going to rain again. Oh god. That gets really, really friggin' loud, guys. I'm sorry if it gets a little bit too loud for you guys. It gets, like, bloody loud. Let's go half wall drift walls here. I just want to make sure they're the right side. What does it look like on the other side? 
Yeah, it's like this. Perfect. Nothing like that for propellers. I wish I didn't have those little things here, uh, but we do need to get like a getting area just to make sure. So we'll try our best to get that completed. Of course, it's not comp doing it over and over again, which just kind of sucks, but it's okay. There we go. I don't know if it'll affect it anyways. Uh, as per se, it shouldn't affect it whatsoever. When I actually land and stuff, it should be okay. I'm going to need to chop up some more wood, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need more wood. All right, let's get our axe going. We have one stick here that kind of flew away. And where are you right now? Where's my axe? All right. We use a durability 11 one first. It'd be a pretty smart move. We'll drop her here just for now. Just so we can actually use this one. And we'll chop up some of these actual trunks. I leave this one up to tell me where to store them. I know it sounds stupid, but it is what it is. It looks kind of cool. It looks really cool. Now, I do need to get a shark going. And I know there's one out there somewhere. Some of you uh, are speculating. Well, it's speculating. You're telling me that it's, it doesn't spawn back after I kill it. Uh, that there's only one shark per wreck. And that's that's kind of odd. I thought they always came back. And I, I do believe you guys. I just don't, I don't know what the actual facts are behind it. But it is what it is. We'll do our best to get as much done as possible. Here we go. Getting a lot more sticks for that. Sweet. Beauty. I wish these poles weren't here. That's the only thing I wish. We'll have two ways in and out of it, one on each side. Very, very cool. I guess we could go a little higher if we want to, but it, usually landing pads don't have even this. But I'm just putting it down to keep it nice and secure in case of weather and storm. We would have had something like this up. So it looks pretty darn nice. I think it looks pretty cool. We could put a lighting inside there too. Uh, once we get a few more of those uh, actual lights themselves, we have uh, right now one here and I think another one on the ground right here temporarily. I should probably put that one on the table, make a little more sense. Probably get a better reflection also. Oh, it's just because I have the hammer on my hand. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was a nice little storm. For once, it wasn't a mammoth storm. That is so friggin' sweet. Holy crap. All right. Let's go and see what we've done here. I am curious. I am curious. Oh, nice. See, looking sexy. really beach white for the actual sides. See, if I were to put the ground like that too, I put the, the actual rails here in driftwood just because it looks nicer. But uh, yeah, if it would have been all, it would have been so white, it would have been like blaring. But that looks very, very cool. I like it a lot. So we got ourselves a landing pad in here, maybe a little bit too high on these things, but we'll have to do our best to actually try and land in that. Could have been a little bigger, but we're trying to save up resources as much as we possibly can, right? We're, we're not going to be uh, going a little too crazy on it. We did work hard to get this. All right, let's go and see what we got going on here. We have to make sure that our potatoes are going. What do we have? Potato farming, nothing. Still nothing. And these ones are never come back. All right. No. Or maybe they do. I just don't have a clue. Currently, we have some fuel right now in the still. We could pick it up and actually drop it off into the actual... I don't know if I should put it in my raft or in the actual helicopter. We got to try to land out on there. We have no choice. We're going to put this batch into the actual helicopter itself. We're going to have to use it anyway, sooner or later. I just don't like the aspect that I can't bring anything with me. But there we go. We'll drop you off in here. Up we go. Oh, that is cool landing pad. That is really, really cool. All right. Let's see if we can actually land this sucker down. Bring it over here closer. Thank you. I'm actually messing around with the wrong keys. Oh, that landed. All right, cool. Very nice. I was actually pressing the wrong key for that. That blade is just not touching that. All right, it's cool. Nice. It works. Let's actually have a little landing pad. We got some fuel. We can leave it in there like this. 
right on the side. We can actually maybe put some shelving and stuff afterwards, but for now, we're going to be a little bit cheap and try and get us also, you know, not looking like we... Oh, there we go. It's empty. There we go. Make it look a little nicer. Again, we'll get some lighting in there, too, as we progress. That is for sure. We actually have one here. Maybe for tonight, we'll just do this, and then I'll take it back with me afterwards. We have one right here. Sweet. We need a lighting. We're going to need four of them, of course. <laughs> Put it right here. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's get some chairs going today. We're going to need some. And uh, we're going to see how much it's going to cost us. Take four of these things. We're going to go on furniture and figure out what we're going to be crafting as. And you can actually make chairs. And I don't know what the cost is. I want to know what the cost is before I start spending that kind of cash. You guys understand that. It is very, very pricey. And here's furniture. Now, plank chairs look a lot better. And the reason why I do build this, and actually Crane brought up a good point. The wood tables themselves, a couple seasons ago, I used to build these things. And they wobble like hell. And I started building these because they just do a better job. They're stable. They can actually make it on that foundation. So, same thing for the chairs. They're four a pop. That's expensive. That is really, really pricey. All right, well... We're not going to need the axe for it now. Put that away. Let's put this away, and we're going to start doing the planks. We're going to need the room. I do have uh, some food. If you guys are wondering, I did smoke up some food, so I'm not worried about that right now. All right, we've got five. I won't be able to do anything until I actually get onto here and press C and make a plank. Again, one plank per log which is ridiculous i'm sorry but never made sense to me but it's okay we'll uh we'll at least be able to build two chairs we only need more than one but well, two chairs seems to make more sense or at least one for now for us to kind of chillax and we also need a bed and that's gonna be something we're gonna have to work on too and a lot of you were asking can you get a bed for this poor guy yeah we're gonna need a bed and uh sleeping bag is right here do we have a bed anymore is that something that's actually inside this game i don't even know if it's there anymore wood table plank corrugated Remember, there used to be a bed. You used to be able to drag a bed into there, so maybe it's just sleeping bags now? I don't know. Is this under shelter? I don't see it. It's kind of strange. They used to have a bed that you can make in this game. I don't know if they took it away. Why they took it away? Maybe someone could shed light inside the cob fields and tell me, yeah, yep, no, they took that shit away. Right, corrugated, and unless I find it right now, wood chairs, corrugated, wood shelves, a hook. It's kind of odd that they took this shit away. Even the hook itself, I guess we can use a hook for the wall um, and actually maybe put the laps on them. We should try that out, actually. That used to be for torches and stuff, but yeah, all right. Well, let's see if we can actually do that. We'll put a hook on a wall, too, at the same time. All right, let's make one chair, at least, into our Margaritaville. We're going to build it right here. Let's see. Here she goes. Place her right there. grab her right over here for now oh frig yeah at least she holds up better because again look at the floor and if you actually put a chair through here <laughs> oh my god in real life that'd be kind of hellish it should hold nice nice sweet the light will turn on very shortly how are we doing on food here we're probably gonna need some one two three four of them all right let's just uh, stand on top one two three and four should hear a beep sound. Nope. We're gonna have to go get some agua. Some water as fast as possible. Looks like Fred's got himself a new friend. Froline. <laughs> I don't know what to call her. Oh, Fred needs a company. Fred's alone for a long time. He's starting to feel it, man. He's, he's telling me last day I'm kind of lonely. So there you go, Fred. You can get yourself Froline. I don't know why I picked that name for it. Just trying to find one that matches Fred. <laughs> That's all there is, reason why. All right, we'll drop you back off here. All right, let's get some water for us to drink. There you go. One extra one to go. And maybe some flask of water for here. We're going to probably need it. Is this potato ready yet? No, it's not ready. But we're going to make sure that it's nice and watered. It does take a little bit longer than you would actually want it to, of course, to get these potatoes. But it is what it is. It's not a huge deal. We just have to wait maybe tomorrow morning and finally get that. We're going to check out the sea lighting and how it works out over here. And we also have a hook we want to make and test out. I want to put a hook on the wall right here. See if I can put this lamp up on top. That'd be pretty cool. 
Now, the reason why I put these lamps near the actual wire kind of areas like this, because it really does kind of bounce off a lot nicer. Well, it does a pretty okay job. It should be a little more light over here. No, it's stopping it, but it's okay. Maybe there's a table. Let's do this here. We're going to make ourselves a hook right on the wall here. I'm trying to see which one. We're in the middle right here, right? There we go. Let's see if we can actually hook this baby onto it. Does it actually work? I know it used to work for torches. No. We're going to see if we can actually make those darn torches. Damn, maybe it's a little bright, isn't it? There's a crappy light there. All right, let's see. Pick up. Okay, just do an attach game. <laughs> Don't do it the hard way. All right, so that's cool. That attaches really nicely. We're going to maybe put another one on this side here instead. Uh, right on this wall here. Maybe we cross this way. Yeah, we'll try this. I think I need still another bit. We're also going to need some more shelves and stuff. We're going to need a lot of things, actually. I need, I need, I need. That's what it feels like I'm saying all the time. I need. All right, there's only one stick left. Uh, maybe we'll wait for the night to pass. And we'll come back in a daylight and actually do that. Everything okay here? Still good? Real good. All right, let's sleep the night and see what we're going to do in the daylight. Hopefully, it'll be a good one. Oh, good morning. Eesh. Hope it's boring. Four o'clock in the morning. Damn, man, I need to learn to sleep in a tiny bit more. I sleep in the wrong times and I wake up the wrong times. All right, water does not pick up overnight, so we're going to have to be a little patient with that. Make sure that she's filled up and ready to go. We took a little sip. We're going to check to see if the potatoes do grow overnight, too. We'll have to double check that. That is something. And we're also going to need some shelving right over here, too. And more lighting, that is for sure. Can we make those torches anymore? Or are they gone? Like, that's something that just doesn't exist anymore. Furniture itself is limited, I think, compared to what we used to. Maybe we'll have to make a sleeping bag after all. That's all there is to it. We got the traps and the fish traps already made. Kind of disappointed. Kind of disappointed about the bed part. I thought it was nice to be able to place things in and make it look like that. Maybe they're reworking. They just took it off. I also wish we could build things inside of here. It would be nice to be able to build it inside the actual house. But yeah, it doesn't seem to work that way. Okay. I don't see the torches anywhere. And I can't really search them out. So maybe it's here. Maybe you guys are going to get in the confidence and tell me where it's at. The actual torch. Uh, if they still have it or not. I don't know. I, I'm scrolling through this pretty darn quick. Oh, there it is. Fire torch. You guys want to tell me anything. All right, fire torch. Does it last forever? That is a good question, isn't it? Do I have to fuel it up every time? We need to figure that out. We got the one stick. We're going to test it out, too. I want to test out a lot of things as much as I possibly can. All right, we're going to go up to here. The loom itself, we'll press C and hold down and make ourselves this. Beauty. And we should be able to make ourselves a torch now. Sweet. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. I know we need to make another hook. So we're going to need to let's put this away for just a second. Okay, wait a second. Let's just go back into the actual thing here. We'll use the other one until it's dead. It is a refined axe. It's not a big deal. Let's get as much we can here. We'll just get one stack for now, just for us to finalize this portion. Yeah, we got it. Good. And we're going to make ourselves another hook. Now, we could make it inside there. I am going to be checking out if we can actually... Hmm. Not the best idea to have a torch inside the actual place, but it would be nice to see what it looks like. Leaving the outside, too. The light's really beaming out there, though. Not like the hooks cost a fortune to run. Yeah, next to the fuel, that'd be a great idea. We can actually put the light next to that, maybe? And then put the torch on the inside. That sounds like a little bit safer, isn't it? Just a tiny bit. All right, we'll take this. Just pick up. Nice. Put it back in our hand. And right over here. Hook. And right this way. Oh, don't go away, light. I need you. And how you... How do you turn this on? I guess at night it's going to turn itself back on. Which is completely safe. I mean, uh, you know... I'm, 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 I'm positive how safe this is. But I want to check it out. Oh, look at the sunrise on... Margaritaville here. That is very sweet. We should actually get maybe a little perch right here. A shelving perch for our buddy, Freddy. And his new girlfriend. It'd be kind of romantic for them to have a little bit of a perch there. Maybe just on the side. I'm not sure if we can build one of these. Can we? Can we build a shelving right there and put it right here? Oh, we can. 
Yes. All right, Freddy, Froline, let's do this. You guys deserve a little bit of a place to chillax. Oh no, I want a crate. Oh, I'm gonna squish him if I drop that. All right, let's pick him up. It's not Seagull. We should be able to put a kind of name you guys with the actual label maker. <laughs> okay, so first things first. There you go. He, he looks happy. Oh, look, he was moving a bit. Oh, shit. No, Froline, no. No. <laughs> what the freak? Ah, oh, sh good. shit. Well, looks like I got poisoned. Oh, the one thing I keep on saying to saving a bird, so we're going to have to get ourselves going on a getting rid of that. We have the stuff. Been a while I've been talking about making one, so I guess we're going to be doing that before the end of the episode. There we go. Alright, she's happier than you look. She looks. She's just sleeping a little bit. There we go. We'll try and place her back up. Everybody needs a little bit of a friend. Alright, so they're going to chillax together here. I'll place them back afterwards. They're going to enjoy the sunrise while I'm poisoned. I can't believe it just did. Oh, look at that. Little lumps all over us. That is fan freaking tastic. Alright, let's do consumables. I have to make one of those. I can't believe I have to do it because I try to save. Yeah. This time I can go there. Antidote. It does, must be it, right? Shark repellent. Breathing booster, gauze, aloe salve, okay, clay water pot, water skin. So it's got to be this. It's got to be the antidote itself, which takes what? PP plants. Oh, I like PP plants. PP plants are good. We also make yourself a coconut flask, too. We're going to need that, too, with a raw coconut. Okay. We got the Ryan Mini coconut. We have one already on us. We're using it for the actual this thing. So we're going to try and make sure. It's always full. Then we'll fix ourselves up. It's not a big problem. We're not going to die right away. It's going to take a little bit. All right. Make yourself a flask. So that means we're going to go up here and grab another coconut. Anyways, I'm going to need one. Can I grab the coconut from here? I think I could without... Actually, would you stop hugging the freaking palm tree? All right. I think he really wants a... There we go. That's great. He's happy now. I'm happy for him. And we're going to need some pee, pee plants. All right. Where's a pee, pee? One... Don't we have one pee-pee? That sounded really bad, too. We're going to start growing some of the stuff, I guess, if we get ourselves in trouble. And don't go into Confields and ask me and, and respond back to the pee-pee. <laughs> oh, my God. You know it's been a long day when you start going that way direction. Excellent. All right, let's do consumables. I think the other one itself, we need to get... Oh, all right, there's some water. We're also going to make some fishing gear. That is another thing I kind of want to work on. I just haven't had time. There's been so much stuff going on that you guys know how it is. It's pretty darn crazy. Consumables, there it is. And I need one cordage. I need one cordage. I wish I'd stay on a page we were working on. There we go. Perfect. Put that away. Do I get the drink of that right away? Because, I mean, Miles well, right? Is she full? She is full. Might as well make herself happy since, hey, I don't want to waste it anyways. All right, let's see what we can do with the pee, pee plant itself. We can make ourselves the antidote. There you go. It's a pina colada. <laughs> it's a new uh, pina colada, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God. This is Margaritaville. It's best when you have to have an antidote. I think I ate the whole thing. That's not good, man. You gotta watch out. You can choke on that shit, brother. You can really choke on that. Okay. Antidote done. That'd be actually really nice, those those antidotes and stuff. On a shelf right here. Like right here, just got like a shelving and like some, some of those pina coladas on there. <laughs> I think it's gonna look pretty darn cool. Alright, we're gonna maybe get another torch and stuff on the other side. A hook is definitely gonna be needed for this side here. For the light. For now, it might be a torch actually afterwards, so I'm just gonna leave it open in case. I could put it right there instead of putting on the actual. Well, then again, there we go. You know, what? it's probably safer for us to do that than actually having that fire in there. <laughs> it's driving me a little bit nuts. I'll be honest with you guys, it's it's definitely driving me a little bit nuts to knowing that I, I left that in there. Okay, I think I actually can illuminate it right away. I just saw that. I think I just had to actually light it. Is that possible? Oh, yeah, look at it. Press E to pick up. It has fire. All right, so it only lasts a certain amount of time. All right, hook in attach. 
I think I have to light it maybe with the actual... Uh, well, maybe we'll have to light it. We'll see. I'll test it out again. I didn't really build one of these. I think I built one once last season. I just never bothered to bring it together or just lit itself. I have no idea. We'll have a couple of those tiki torches. One. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, we got that, that, that. We need to get more planks. We need to get a couple more shells done. We have a lot of planks, though. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Only table for one currently. That is okay. And we'll get some more shells and go. We're going to need it because I can't leave all this stuff outside anymore. I also want to bring some of those actual crates that we're not using or we're using to place in here, maybe. It would be kind of nice. We are going to be placing some of them right here with some pina coladas. So maybe just a little bit down so it looks like an actual bar area. Because when people can start coming to this island, we're going to want to sell them some stuff, right? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Got the pina coladas. Gonna make sure it's the same height. Uh, I think it's the same height. Pretty darn close, if not. Wicked. Wicked. Right. I'm gonna need to make more PB plants and stuff. How much wood do I have left here? I'm gonna need a couple more, I think. Let's open this up here. We're gonna need to craft out farming. I need a hoe for that. I know that. But I just wanna see how much we actually need. Farming plants, we need two planks per, so we just need to make sure we have a hoe in it to get that done. There we go, this is for hammers. And this one was meant for... I really, really wants me to use that, like, desperately first. I don't know why. I don't care for the newer one. Alright, that's good. Grab you. Still some more here. Sweet. And I need our hoe anyways. We'll pick that up. Not press that to clear it. No, we don't want to clear it. We're going to need more potatoes too. But I'm going to need pee-pee and stuff. So don't even go there. We're going to need also those coconuts up here. So let's hold this up. And I probably got to take down this tree because I need to get the room. There's a weird sound for ripping off a coconut. It sounded real. It's just it's kind of surprising. I never realized it. I guess it's been always too noisy for me here. Yeah, I'm going to need this actual area here for two more plots of potatoes. And some PP are going to go right down here. So these two trees are not valuable for us whatsoever anymore. So we'll be able to use those. That's excellent. Why not? While in realm. Not all trees were going to last anyways. It couldn't have it all perfect. Let's just drop her here. Timber! Or Aloha! No, I'm joking. <laughs> we dropped it. Oh, we're going to lose a fibrous leaf area, though. That's too bad. Now, part of construction, we have no choice. This is probably going to break now, this axe. That's what I was thinking. I was saying it, and it came through and through. All right. Where did my axe go now? My my better axe. There she is. My refined axe we just built. Let's break this apart. Nice. Sweet. And we'll drop him right here. Perfect. We're going to need more of these planks anyway, so might as well make it do now and pick them up and make ourselves more planks by standing right in front of here, holding a C down, and bam. Again, you just press C once if you want to. But the crafting, I always say that, but you, know, you never know. We're going to need a coconut flask for later on, for sure. Uh, we'll try and do that. Got so many things I want to do. Drive me nuts. You got farm, you got to get all these things kind of completed. It drives you nuts how much work you have to do in this one. There's a lot of grinding, too. We do need to grind. We need to go out and pick up more loot. Investigate more islands. Find out more stuff we can actually get. That is a lot to do. Do we still need some here? Nope. Nope. Whoop. With right click, just in case you're doing, I'm holding right now the actual tab button and right clicking on it in case you guys are wondering. Some people have asked that several times. So let's make sure you guys are aware that is what I'm doing. It is 
break this apart and make the extra two planks and we'll make ourselves a couple more plots. That means it's going to take up quite a bit of water. We'll make sure we're full before we fill those up. One, two, three. One, two, three, tres. I'll make sure that's good. All right, we'll make another plank then. Let's go over here. Perfect. Same thing we're going to do again. Just because we don't want room inventory, so it's quite... Eh. And we'll place that here. Excellentes. And uh, now it's time to actually build. We're going to have to make sure we have our hoe on here. And a farming plot should pop up. Beautiful. And it is nicer with the plank, so I know you can do the other kind of wood if you want to. Plank just seems more gardenish kind of looking. You know what I'm saying? Wish it click into each other. Gardenish. It's like it's a new word in Webster Dictionary. Gardenish. <laughs> Do I know? Insert here. All right, so we'll get some pee pee over here going. We're going to need some water. And that is going to be something we have to work on too. Drop. It. Actually, we'll just. Make some difference curly now. I, I have a lot of fibrous leaves. That is good. Fill up the water and stuff. Take a little sip before we go. Before we go, go. Oh, no, don't. He's thirsty. He's very, very thirsty. Okay, can't water until we actually, that's right, until we actually put plants inside. It makes no sense, but it's all good. Now, you just have to grab the PP plants, right? If I'm not mistaken, and actually have that happen. Right, I just need the PP plant here in my hand, and it should be able to put these right here. Plant PP. Yes, there you go. Now we'll come back and forth on that, and we'll fill this baby up. What else? What other kind of things I want to build here? I think I'm going to grab one potato from there and make another potato plant here. So once this is finished, we actually have a potato. I think I use the other one for potato plants. Unless I just bring another one here, and then we can build another. That'd be crazy not to. Oh my god, we have to make a clay thing the next episode too. Damn it. But yeah, I think we've done our job now. We've uh, over... Well, we've done quite a bit of stuff today. We did a, quite a bit of work and I'm quite happy actually. We're very, very happy. We still have no potatoes ready to go, but that's okay. We'll do our best for next episode. So again, thank you for being here. If you guys like this and you want to see a whole lot more of it, make sure you smack the like button right in the butt. And if you're brand new, make sure you subscribe and go and check out the other ones too. Uh, we have a I have a wide, wide list on the bottom there. It's in the description field that you can actually see all... Oh, oh no! Well, all right. Well, two is enough. Three is a crowd. Yes, uh, so you guys can check out our playlist. It's quite extension. So thank you so much for being here again. If you like this, again, smack the like button. You guys are absolutely awesome. This is Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.